This next story is called TV or not TV. Sooty Sweep and Sue were sitting in their usual place on the carpet in front of the television. They were eagerly awaiting the start of one of their favourite TV programmes. Suddenly the announcer started to speak. Our next programme is all about the forces of good and evil. On hearing the programme's theme music, Matthew looked up from reading his newspaper. He'd watched this programme once or twice himself and had quite enjoyed it. It wasn't as good as the Sooty Show, of course, but it was quite entertaining. It was all about these robots, good ones and evil ones, who could change into many different things. Some changed into cars, some into aeroplanes, some into rockets. One of them even changed into a gun. His particular favourite could change into a tape recorder. Matthew put down his paper and settled down to watch. Sooty and Sweep knew all about the robots, and their names, and they proceeded to identify each one as it appeared on the screen. Quiet, said Sue at the top of her voice. I want to watch this, not listen to you two. Sue wasn't in a very good mood this morning. On the screen, meanwhile, the evil warriors were about to attack the good warriors' base. Sooty, Sweep and Sue were becoming quite excited. Would they succeed? A rocket was launched, and it exploded on the base. Smoke started to come from the back of the television, and there was a bright flash, followed by a big bang. I say, said Matthew, these sound effects are very good, and all that smoke, why, it's, it's almost as if it's in this room. When the smoke had cleared, they noticed that the television screen had gone blank. Oh, no, said Matthew, that smoke was real. The television set's broken down. Matthew crossed to the television and started pressing all the buttons. It was no use. He couldn't get a picture or sound on any of the channels. Sooty Sweep and Sue by this time were jumping up and down. Put the program back on! What's wrong with the TV? Hurry up and fix it! Well, there wasn't much that Matthew could do about it. He didn't know how to repair TV sets, and in any case, he knew it was dangerous to fiddle around, as he might receive an electric shock. I'm sorry, Sooty Sweet and Sue. All I can do is telephone for a repairman, he told them. Well, as you can imagine, they weren't very pleased. So Matthew promised he'd try and have the TV repaired as soon as possible, and went off to phone the repairman. When Matthew returned a few minutes later, Sooty Sweep and Sue were feeling very sorry for themselves. So he explained that the repairman would be arriving within a couple of hours to fix the TV. A couple of hours, said Sue. The children's programs will have finished by then. And what do we do until it's repaired? The trouble with you three, said Matthew, is that you watch so much television that you... Forget that there are other things you can do to occupy your time. What things? they demanded to know. Matthew went across to a cupboard and took out a large box containing all sorts of games. He returned with it and placed it on the table. These things, he said. There's snakes and ladders for a start. Then there's tiddlywinks and ludo and draughts. There are any amount of games you can play. I'll tell you what, let's have a game of snakes and ladders. Sooty Sweep and Sue grudgingly agreed to give it a try, and Matthew set up the board. Sooty was first to throw the dice, and he threw a four. Sue, who wasn't in a very good mood, went next, and she threw a six. Yippee! she cried as she moved her counter. One, two, three, four, five, six and up the ladder to number 68. This is a good game. I get another go. I threw a six. She shook the dice again, and this time she got a five. Hee-hee, <laughs> she laughed. I'll soon reach the top at this rate. One, two, three, four, five, on to square number 73, and down the snake back to number two. Well, that didn't please Sue at all. This 
is a silly game, she complained. However, they carried on playing until finally Matthew won. It's not fair. You're too good for us, said Sooty. Sue and Sweep agreed. All right, then. We'll play Tiddlywinks, said Matthew. He set up the board and put the little plastic cup in the middle of it. Sooty wasn't sure how to play, so Matthew had first go, and would you believe it, he flipped his counter right into the cup first time. Hooray, said Matthew. Boo, said Sooty, Sweep and Sue. All right. There's no need to be like that, said Matthew. Here, Sweep, you have a go. Well, Sweep pressed down so hard that his tiddlywink went sailing through the air and straight out of the window. Sooty didn't do much better either. His tiddlywink landed in the goldfish bowl and so alarmed the poor creature that it leapt out of the water. Sue decided that this too was a silly game and refused to take her turn. Matthew had won again. How come you're so good at these games? said Sweep. Practice, replied Matthew. Practice makes perfect. When I was your age, we didn't have a television. When you were our age, nobody had a television, said Sue, who wasn't in a very good mood. Choosing to ignore this remark, Matthew explained that when he was a boy, he used to play all of these games with his mum and dad, so he became quite good at them. And as they didn't have a TV set, the family used to listen to the radio, or tell each other stories, or go to the theatre. Uh, don't get me wrong, he said. Television is a marvellous invention. All I am saying is that there are other forms of entertainment. So she sweet and Sue listened and nodded their agreement. Even Sue said, Yes, you have a point there, Matthew. Just then there was a knock at the door. That'll be the repairman. Let him in, will you, Sooty? Sooty returned with the repairman, and within minutes, the TV set had been repaired. Matthew paid the man, thanked him for his prompt service, and let him out. As he dashed back into the room, Sooty, Sweep and Sue were about to start playing Ludo. Are you going to play, Matthew? they asked. But Matthew didn't hear them. Do you know what he was doing? He was busy watching his favourite television programme.